really easy to understand. Uh, and then people talk about like people with disabilities don't understand stuff, but people that don't have disabilities don't understand stuff. If they did, they would act like they don't understand. Exactly. Because why would you act like you understand so you do understand? <laughs> exactly. Or why would you misinterpret it or misspoke? Yeah. Explain that to me. And plus, they can't explain it because they know you tell me. Uh, like, sometimes we'd be on the bus or something like that, or at work or something like that. People just like get people wrong all the time. And they get people wrong on purpose, too. It's one thing to get somebody uh, on accident, but. But they do it on purpose, so some of them just do it on purpose just to, just to cause an argument or something like that. And those type of people, you just like shut them down. Just, don't say nothing after that. Like, walk away. But once you do that a lot, they'll just let it be. But they don't understand English stuff. Exactly. But it's really easy. Uh, we used to always tell people with disabilities 20, 30 years ago how they was having problems understanding certain things. Now we tell people that don't have disabilities. That's because people that don't have disabilities are acting like they they have disabilities. Act like they don't understand English. So, a simple stuff. Simple language, simple sense. Well, so, 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 so it pretty much did change a lot. But if it did, then why the hell do I gotta explain myself over and over and over to you? Simple stuff. And you misinterpreted what I said. Something that's easy to pretty much, easy to comprehend. Catch up to quit. Uh, yeah, that's how I, that's what I'm talking about. People in general, pretty much. But a small group of people do that though, not everybody. Only a small group. Take it back to that book because I had to restart it because that, that uh, Bluetooth somehow disabled it, cut off. Because of the, um, uh huh, and it does that on its own side because it's nobody else. So, uh huh. Try to get back to that one movie I was watching. The guy was like, boy's chest out. We'll go to the history. I'll come back to this movie later. Yeah. Pretty interesting movie, though. It's called The Sample. It says, it says it's about two brothers who played on uh, some of their own, some of their businesses, by their personal life for a sample. I see. Mm-hmm. 